This tutorial will introduce you, to the various ways in which selections can be made. Lisa is selection driven, which means to perform most tasks, you first have to select nodes, faces, or entire elements. To select nodes and elements directly, use any one of these three tool buttons. The left button activates the select nodes mode. The middle tool button, is the select face mode. The right tool button, is the select element mode. Nodes and elements can be selected, either by dragging, or, by holding down the control key, while selecting them individually. To deselect nodes or elements, from already selected items, hold down the control key, then click, or drag. If you find yourself accidentally dragging a node, while trying to make a selection, undo the distortion, by using the control key and the Z key. Then repeat the selection, but this time press the shift key, to prevent nodes from being accidentally moved. The default drag selection tool is a rectangle. If you need to select circular features, use the circle selection command to change the drag selection tool, into a circle. To select the edges, of plane continuum, and shell elements, the thickness needs to be displayed, by toggling on, the show element surfaces tool button, and the show shell thickness tool button. The edges, can now be selected. Another way, to select the edges of plane continuum, and shell elements, is to first select the nodes. Then, switch to face selection mode. The edges will now become selected. To select the end surfaces of a line element, toggle on the show element surfaces tool button. Then select the end face. If you know the node, or element numbers that need to be selected, use the edit menu to select them. If a CAD model is auto meshed, all its surfaces will be listed in the outline tree, under named selections. You can select any of these surfaces directly, by clicking these entries. If you have selected, nodes, faces, or elements, they can be assigned, a named selection. Right click on the selected items, then choose, add to new named selection. To select these items again, just click their named selection, in the outline tree. This ends the tutorial on mesh selection in Lisa. Next please view the tutorials on applying loads and constraints.